Hi everyone, I'm Ishan reporting for Kids First. Let's transport ourselves to a glorious fantasy world and immerse ourselves in the story of Cinderella. A modern, musical take on the evergreen fairy tale, Cinderella's impeccable sets and wardrobe, as well as its talented cast, make this production a one-of-a-kind watch. Cinderella follows the story of Ella, played by Camilla Cabello, a poor orphan who lives with her abusive, restrictive stepmother Vivian, and her mean, obnoxious, and spoiled stepsisters Maddie Bayo and Charlotte Spencer. She loves to design dresses, and she even has her own workplace in her basement, where a crew of merry mice, played by James Corden, Ramesh Ranganathan, and James A. Caster watch over her. It is her dream to open up a dress shop in the town marketplace. However, in her kingdom, women cannot run businesses. Only men can. When Prince Robert, played by Nicholas Galitzin, the unassuming heir apparent, lays eyes on Ella, he falls head over heels in love with her, as she does for him. However, as Cinderella and Prince Robert find themselves and their paths in life, a series of decisions that they must take puts their love story in jeopardy. There are lots of subplots and side stories in the film, but that is the main plotline. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Cinderella maintains a steady and engaging pace with just enough action, comedy, romance, and drama throughout the nearly two-hour duration. As it's told through a combination of songs and dialogue, it's only fitting that the cast is comprised of a mixture of singers, actors, and comedians. Camilla Cabello, Billy Porter, and Idina Menzel slay in the film, as Porter's character, Alice Fairy Godparent, would say. Their delivery is clear, and in the case of Cabello and Menzel, though a lot of the film's soundtrack is comprised of remakes like Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation, it's refreshing to hear their takes on these classics. Pierce Brosnan plays the stately, confident, yet flawed and patriarchal King Rowan, and Minnie Driver acts as his strong, regal queen Beatrice. I love the portrayal of strong women in this film. Beatrice, Ella, and even Vivian have one thing in common. They are restricted by their society. Vivian had to give up on her passion, Beatrice must sit silently next to her husband for her entire life, and Ella is at risk of losing her dreams. It is certainly unique to see this struggle in a fairy tale film. Shot at Pinewood Studios in the UK, the film's sets are impeccable, and I truly felt that I was in a medieval kingdom with the characters. Cinderella promotes advocating for yourself, pushing against restrictive gender roles or barriers, following your dreams, choosing your own destiny, and so many more positive messages. There are only one or two uses of mild profanity in this film. It's a great family watch. I give Cinderella 5 out of 5 stars and recommend this film for ages 11 to 18 plus adults. Cinderella releases on Amazon Prime Video on September 3rd, 2021. Go watch it. Alright folks, that's it for me. I'm Ishan Mani reporting for Kids First. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching once again. Bye! Do you want to go to that ball and meet a bunch of rich people who will change your life? Yes, I was just crying and singing about it like two minutes ago. Then go, you shall! Oh, look at that. This is different. I okay, think Dad, you said you wanted to be a businesswoman. It's magic time. Holy...